up, Switch? vlog that I did if you didn't watch um go check it out but I was supposed to post part two and I never got a chance to part two is done part two is edited and ready to post the only issue is I cannot export it off of the iMovie on my phone I've tried just about everything and I can't like I can't I mean if anybody knows how I guess help you know the door is always open because I do want y'all to see that um but I just I can't I can't get it up there so we gotta keep the train moving so I feel like I wanted to tell a story time something it's not really recent it probably happened about two years ago um but it's one of those things that it took a while to get over and now that I'm finally over it I feel like I can talk about it and I feel like it, it was a lesson in there so it's actually two it's actually a two-part story so let's get into it so as you see from the title i am going to be talking about the time i found out my little boyfriend was getting friendly he was giving cheaper so yeah and then also when i realized or rather found out realized whatever that karma was real like no it's ends but so maybe possibly nah like you finna get yours sis. you finna get yours so yeah, um, so first we gotta give my ex a nickname and for the sake of this story time, we're just gonna call him Scorpio, we're gonna call him Scorpio, um, yeah we'll call him Scorpio. So Scorpio, he actually was cool with a homegirl of mine, she knew him and his brother, he was a twin. And I think like he saw me on her story one time, like we went to uh, spring break in Atlantic City. Um, it wasn't really spring break. It was our spring break, but we went to Atlantic City. Um, and he wanted her to throw the ooh. And I just remember like her telling me, but I'm just like, mm, okay, like mm, whatever, like no. And then I think he like ended up applying pressure a little bit like on his own in my DM. But it's still for a while, it wasn't like nothing was really jumping off. Um, fast forward maybe like a month down the line like I ended up like actually talking to him giving him some play or whatever and we actually like got along we got along well um now <laughs> it's just funny thinking about it now because I really got beside myself I mean don't get me wrong like since she was like she was being unnecessary but I feel like I was doing too much so um so one day he was on the block and I was in his car listening to music like off his phone and like this number keeps calling him um and I keep hanging it up because like he's not in the car I'm listening to music so this number's calling him and then I peep like it says something like um maybe like apartment so like this person like this person had a name in his phone kept calling him and then like it said like apartments or like something like that um kept calling so apparently the situation was the girl, she was like, I guess his ex-girlfriend was staying at his old apartment because like he was in the process, like he was already like moved out, moved out, whatever. So she was staying there and she couldn't get in. Like, I guess the number that, that you call like helps get you buzzed in. I still don't really get that, but yeah. Um. So, like, she's still blowing him up, and I see messages, like, now I see, she said something along the lines of, like, she was airing him out. I don't remember everything she said. I just knew she was airing him out and, like, drag me in it, like, on some other oh, pie with, with that bitch. She, she probably a bee, something like that. I don't know. I still got it, so, um, I'm gonna insert it from there. But I just remember telling her, like, first of all, like, don't worry about me. Like, sis, I will smack you. Like, I just remember, like, I'm not even at one, not that two. I'm going to let you know out the gate, like, this is what it is. And 
then I forget what she said after that, but I just remember telling her, keep that energy. Like, I wasn't gonna argue with her. I'm just like, okay, like, keep that energy. So I think I blocked her from his phone and then, like, like yeah, from his phone. And then, you know, went on about the day. Like, I told him what happened. And yeah. Um, see, and then this, this should have been a red flag. This should have been a red flag. Because I remember even in this situation, like, how like not mad he was at me but just how like mad he was like he was like a non-confrontational type of person and that's fine like you don't have to be confrontational but i feel like when it comes to certain stuff when you need to have my back like you need to stay on all 10 but uh, behind me like i just feel like certain situations you just don't be that deep for you to be on something like nah like have your person back period and yeah like that was the first we wasn't even together at this time this is the good part but this was like that first first time where i should have like kicked up on it and then i remember if it wasn't like later that night it might have been the next day but i think it was that night she ended up um messaging him basically um trying to get into that apartment to get like i think her pocketbook or something like that And I just remember texting her again, like, keep that energy. Yes, I was being petty. To be honest, it wasn't even my place, but I was using some, like, sis, like, you bring me up in the thing. I don't just let you, I don't let you have this. You would have just dragged him and got you as well, but you dragged me into it, and now I'm just petty. And, yeah, so I told you keep that energy. I told you keep that energy, like, figure it the fuck out. So, I, um, uh, I ended up blocking her. I said, I, I said something else to her. I don't know. If I got that, I'll include it. And I ended up blocking her off his messenger too. So that was just like a small situation. But I'm just telling y'all that. So because it's going to make sense in the end. So um, fast forward. Like when that happened. That might have been like June 2019. It might have been like June 2019. So, you know, we was doing good for a little while. Like, you know, we was cooking. You know, I met my dudes, the whole nine, like the whole squad. Like, I met the whole squad and, you know, I fit in. I got along. Um, and then I'm trying to think, like, this was, like, around his birthday. His birthday was in November. So, yeah, like, this is around his birthday. Um, He had this party. But, you know, see, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I gotta go back because y'all gotta understand why I was mad at him. So... Maybe like a few weeks before his birthday, um, one of his homegirls, she had she had put this status on Facebook. She was like, um, something along the lines of, I like the way Scorpio um is with his girlfriend. Like I hope one day somebody treats me like that. Something like that in a nutshell. And her cousins uh comment something like, like, nah, he be doing too much. So, y'all already know, like, I'm saying that, and I'm just like, that's my face, like, because that was so unnecessary, bro, like, I don't know you, like, even if you really feel that way, like, was it necessary to say that, like, you feel me, like, she, his friend, whoever she is, like, I don't mean, I didn't even know the other girl either, but she was just with some positive, like, you know, I, I, I want my dude to treat me like that, why you gotta come and be extra? So I commented, I forget what I commented. It wasn't even nothing like too crazy, but I think I remember I did comment something. And again, this was where like another situation where he was just going from not really wanting to be combative type stuff. And I'm just like, nah, like <laughs> some stuff, some stuff you just gotta put them boots on and you feel me like what's up? Because you're nah, like, nah, not you was minding your business. Okay, because I was minding my business too. Nah, like we gotta say something. So that's the type of time I was on. He wasn't really on it. And it was taking me off. Like, y'all, it was taking me off. Like, I was just mad because I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if it's just being me because I'll be on go and I need you to be on go. Or if it's just because you not on go by yourself. Like, I don't know what was making me more mad. But I was just like, bro, like, I was just irritated with him about the whole situation. Because this is your folks like i don't know none of these people and you're not even like you're not even like you know put your foot down like say something so i remember that was like a whole thing and like i said he was a twin so i'm already understanding like they're they're from a little city um i'm not, I'm not gonna say the city but <laughs> they're from a, a little city like outside of philly and 
you know, I'm understanding it's, it's small, you know, everybody know everybody. You have a twin, so I can't just be like, oh, don't invite this person here or don't like, you know what I'm saying? But all I said to him was, if this chick just so happens to be there, don't be on no Joe shit. Like, I don't even want you on no high by like, nah, like, you feel me? And he was just on some like, he was putting his foot down about that. That's what he was putting his foot down. His foot down about. He 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 was basically like, no, like, <laughs> it's not funny, y'all. Cause I promise you, I promise you, I wanted to throw hands with him. Like, what you mean, no? Like, what she said was on some weird shit. Like that was that was weird to you too, right? Okay, so y'all two not really like y'all was cool, but y'all not really cool. Okay, so what you mean, no? Like, I just wasn't understanding, so I was heated. Like, I was heated because I felt like he just wanted to go against the grain. Now, again, that's 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 that Scorpio stuff. That's why his name is Scorpio, because that was, like, the most, that was, like, the most unnecessary button heads. Like, I feel like you shouldn't even have to explain to who you're dealing with or just even your friends, period. Like, if you're my homegirl, like, why do I got to tell you to back me up? Why do I got to tell you that, like? So, yeah, I was just very much irritated. His birthday came around, and I was still on that energy. Like, just because it's your birthday, me, I cannot take the funk for nobody, for nothing. I don't care it's your birthday. That's how, this is how I'm talking. Even though I was kind of lying a little bit. Like, I don't care it's your birthday. Like, I still feel some type of way, and you're telling me, you're telling me no, like, that you was, like, what, be on some funny shit, like, if you was to see this person. So, um, you know, I told him that he wasn't feeling that at all obviously he wasn't feeling that at all because that was like really the start or the fuel of what is what's going to be said to come so i remember this particular his birthday he had a birthday party it wasn't on the day of his birthday but i remember um this party like he went before me and you know i set up like our room like really nice like it was like you know on some surprise type stuff like he didn't know i did that mind you like we wasn't even on the lovey dovey stuff because like i said like i felt how i felt but me being the bomb girlfriend that i am i'm still like it's his birthday like do like you know do something still make him feel good it's his birthday so his night, the, the, the night of his party wasn't, like, the issue. Like, it wasn't nothing that I could really even recall, like, or say anything bad about. I mean, besides the fact that he got super, like, super duper, duper smashed. <laughs> I was smashed, too. I can't lie. But he was, he was smashed. And, like, if you know what I'm talking about, he was huge. Like, he was, like, 6'2", like, 200 some pounds. So, my drunk behind couldn't do nothing with his drunk behind. So, that was kind of, like yeah but it really was the next day the next day i woke up like when i say hung over hung over like this was like my first actually this was my first time ever feeling hung over my first time like on some feel like i need to throw up like my hair hurt like nah god like please i, I never drink like that was my first my very first like god i will never drink again if you just get me to it so this man, he wakes up on some, on some, you know, he wanted to get a cracking from yesterday. Like I guess he's feeling like it's my birthday and I ain't getting it. So he just wake up on that type of time and I'm just like, like you don't see me, you don't hear me, like you know, I don't really feel good type situation. And I feel like now he was just mad all over again because, like I said, he was already mad that, like I was on that type vibe and I told him that I wasn't really gonna be messing with him because of how i felt so now he's just back on some irritated type stuff again scorpio stuff like being all sensitive and taking something that small and making it a huge thing because you just feel some type of way <sighs> i got cursed i got cursed let me lay up scorpios but yeah so again now at this time i don't i'm not really knowing like none of this how deep this is to him like i'm not really knowing none of this so um so yeah that was that like i was just like nah like you know i'm sick or whatever like i'm just not really in that mood he, he brought back breakfast and we check out he take me home now fast forward a couple days i don't even remember where we was coming from i don't remember what we was doing like i just remember again he was smashed and i was driving his car 
and we was dropping to her sister house because his sister dropped like i mean his sister dropped in the city she lived in the city so it was like anytime like they was ever out because he lived far like he he lived far um so anytime we was out like you know that was the spot they would go to on some like you know it's just closed i need to get some sleep type stuff so i dropped to his sister house and like i said you know i'm at this point we, we was already like a thing like my dudes know me and whatever whatever so i'm like yo like you know let me let me text your family because i know they worry about you i know they text and i've been seeing text you while i'm looking at direction like when you wear what's up so i'm like you know what let me let everybody know you just messed up but we good i drove me to your sister house yeah, yeah, yeah. this is where things start to go down 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 so yo i just i just <laughs> i'm over it but i just remember like the the feeling that I felt when I seen that shit. Like, it was just like, oh, really? Okay. So, you know, I texted I texted his father at... His father is the first the first message. If you got an iPhone, you know, it shows you, like, maybe, like, the first one is seven of your recent contacts. Because the very top is the most recent. The very bottom is, you know, the least recent. So I see one at the very bottom. The very bottom, I also see emojis that should not be on nobody's name but mine or your mom's. And that ain't your mom name. And that ain't my name. So uh, I clicks on it. Uh, duh, I click on it. And you know, now I'm reading the messages. And this one I checked before the video. I don't have it no more. I told y'all I got over it. And it was one of those days where I just seen it. I'm like, I want to get this shit out of my phone. Like, I ain't finna need this. Like, if you're a Gemini, you already know. Like, we keep the receipts. I don't care if this was back in 05. Like, because one day I need it. And look, now one day I need it and I don't got it. But um, the message said, you know, because we also got that photographic memory. So, the message said, um... I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna work for it. But in a nutshell, he was basically just on some trying to get some. Cause now the messages, this is why it wasn't like up at the top. It was like, you know, he said this a little minute ago. He said this, he had this conversation with this girl the next day after his birthday party. You know, the day that I was all sick and stuff. Yeah. So he's texting her like, you look good at my party yesterday. Um like I like basically like I wanted to be on you. I know I know you probably wanted me to type stuff. I just trying to fill her up. Obviously they used to mess around. Just just trying to fill her up and trying to see like what she messed around with him. And she basically like um nah like you know nah. But he was just like okay like I, I'm just asking. I'm just trying to see because you look good last night and I know like if he was with me like you'd have been all over me too. Like you know what I'm saying. Low key like telling the business like drive to the business because she probably don't really know what's going on but you tell them the business um so i see that y'all and i just i just went ham you know again this nigga he's gone like he's drunk and like i said he's the big nigga he's six two twenty seven pounds so when he's gone he's ko like there's no really shaking him waking him up get up like when he's down he's down so i'm just like yeah baby we in the car i'm in his car and we did we in the driveway, y'all. It's probably it's like three o'clock in the morning. It's like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like yelling, I'm like, get up, get up, get up. He not really getting up. Now I'm hitting him. Now I'm like like snacking, get up, get up. <laughs> get up. He's not getting up. So I'm screaming at this point again. I'm hitting him like so now he's kinda like I get out the car, so he get out the car. And I'm just telling him, Oh, like you really wow, like I'm going bananas off. Oh. So yeah, so basically we just going back and forth outside his sister house and I'm just like, it just occurred to me like, you know what, fuck it, like I'm leaving, like I'm not going to stay here, you drunk as fuck, I'm not going to argue with you because you're not even in the, the, the mindset to give me the answers that I want, like you're not even in the mindset to have a conversation with me, none of the above, so I just leave, yes, in his car, threw his phone down the driveway and I sped over his car because I'm like, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm for one, not paying for an Uber, Two, I'm simply not getting an Uber at this time of the night by myself because you want to be on some, nah. And I had um, 
like laundry bags in his car. So I'm like, I'm not doing all that. Like I'm not catching on Uber, getting on nothing with these laundry bags by myself. Three o'clock in the morning. You at your sister's house. I dropped you off. <laughs> you know where I live at type stuff. So I left. Now, I ended up texting him, like, you know, come get your car in the morning or whatever. But, like I said, I threw his phone. Him being drunk, he never really, um, I guess he never, he never, like, noticed that I threw it. So, yeah. <laughs> he just didn't have his phone that whole time and never saw that I texted him that. So, basically, just because his dumb behind didn't notice when I threw his phone, he thought I took his phone and his car because he never saw the message of me telling you, like, I'm not almost through your car type stuff. Like, this just is what it is. Come get your car. He never saw that. So, now he's trying to contact me through his sister, like, Facebook and all this stuff. And see, this is what I didn't like, like, looking back at it. Is because, I mean, I get it. Like, if you got a sister, I'm finna go. I'm going to war about my sister. So, I get it. Like, you don't even got to tell me to go. I'm finna go about my little brothers and sisters. So, I get it. But his sister, one of his sisters is coming at me on some like on some rah type stuff and I just didn't appreciate it because like me I felt like these two like out of everybody because his older sister was like grown like grown grown you feel me like y'all got kids and all of that like y'all grown grown and, like all his other brothers and sisters was kind of in our age range so I just felt like if it was really on some you trying to get in contact with me like you don't like you know what I'm saying like I just felt like you had a plethora of other numbers to go through because mind you like i said i like i got in cool with his family like i was cool with his brother so i know this brother had my number this brother had my number this brother had my number this brother girlfriend had my like you know your mother has my number like you could have went through people that wouldn't have been on no extra stuff like people that already know me type stuff you feel what i'm saying like now you got this sister that don't know me and she just taking it there and i didn't appreciate it but you know, I didn't really go. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really trip with sister because I was just on from like you feel me. Like, I'm not studying you, you're not my issue. Like, I'm not arguing with you, you don't even know what's going on. I'm not trying to steal this boy car. That was my whole thing. Like, I'm not trying to steal his car. Like, what do I look like? What do I look like? So, he ended up pulling up, he ended up pulling up, and like, we arguing at my house. This is back when I used to live in West Philly. So he like on the porch. I got the door shut. You know, we going back and forth. And yeah, like I just really, I remember like we didn't come to a conclusion right then and there. Like we just gonna leave me alone type stuff. Um, to be honest, I really don't remember like what happened in between. Like his birthday was like mid-November. So I don't know what happened between like then and then like the end of November. I just remember like around Thanksgiving, like we was kind of trying to work it out type stuff um we actually was cool we was cool for not cool but like that was my nigga like what the fuck cool but like, we were getting along rather like you know we, we wasn't really arguing we was getting right for a minute um this was all the way up until i want to say december wasn't that long <laughs> i'm talking like a child what one month later yeah, so it was, like, maybe, like, December when, like, I started to notice, like, his phone. Like, you know, now I'm paranoid type stuff because, you know, like, once somebody, like, give you a reason to be paranoid, like, now I already know or I'm already thinking to look out for you. Now I'm already thinking, like, not to trust you because this was, like, Tommy me on behind my back. Mind you, like I said, the, the, the conversation that he had with that girl when he sent her those messages, like, look, thinking back on the times that I was with him that day when he sent that, like, it was literally, like, you just took me home and sent that. You know what I mean? So, it was just like, I'm really, I, I, the trust, you know, you lost that trust for me. And, you know, that was my fault for even, like, to be honest, that's my lesson. Like, when I'm done with a person, I just need to be done. Once that trust is broken, there's, there's nothing I can do for you because I don't trust you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You did that. So, now I know, you know, let stuff like that go. But, you know, I took him back, like a little dumb dumb. I took him back. And so, yeah, we was cool for like a month. And then, like, I was just seeing stuff on this one that I just wasn't satisfied with. Like, I know, like, I blocked this girl out your phone. Why? See, I name it. I know this person likes you or I've seen messages or, like, you probably was sending heart eyes to this person. Just stuff where it's, like, again, that Scorpio mess just wanting to go against the grain. I guess he felt like he didn't want to, like, control him. But it's just, like... <sighs> I mean, if I don't block him, like, you just finna be Joe. Like, I felt like, 
because if it's me like if i had a dude like i don't i don't care to talk to somebody that i know got a crush on me i don't i don't care that what's the point of keeping it keeping that conversation especially when people know you're in a relationship i really got what's to talk about she likes you you have a girlfriend Mm, like you're just leaving that door open I feel like and then when I'm shutting the door and you want to reopen it even if it's just on some friendly stuff it's just still like what's the what's like like pick a fucking side you feel me pick a fucking side and how I was just looking at it like you just want to be oh so friendly to the whole world but you feel me what about me huh, your girlfriend you don't care about you know what I'm saying so that's why I thought about that and it was just like I'm not going for that like to be honest it's like I'm not going for none of that period like you don't even have to you don't even have to go through with the whole intercourse for me to be on some that's joe like that's that's friendly and that's uh, a centimeter away from cheating me so yeah i had to leave him alone well i ain't leave him alone leave him alone but that's when we broke up that's like we broke up like for real. so yeah when we broke up for real that was like the top of 2020 um, around like April 2020 is when I was moving to Georgia. So if you know me, like you know since like the sixth grade, like I was a kid, like I love Justin Bieber to this day. That's still my boy. And like back then, he had he was just about to drop the album Confirmation. Just like when Yummy first came out, all of that. So I had ordered a sign Yummy like CD. It was just like Yummy, like it wasn't the whole album, but. I have ordered a signed Yummy CD, and I don't know if y'all ever, like, ordered some, like, you know, celebs like that when they, they have, like, merch on their site. It's not, usually it's not just on some two to five business days because, like, that's, come on, that's just the beat. You're going to have a bunch of them, a bunch of orders to fulfill. So, it was on some, like, you know, a couple months type stuff. So, in my head, I can't remember, like, when, like, when did I place this order, but I just remember thinking, like, in my head, like, I didn't know if it was going to come before I moved or after and i just felt like you know honestly back then at that point in time like, he was the closest person to me like i'm not really like uh in front of everybody like in everybody's face type stuff like i'm very selective with who i spend my time with so you know given that was my boyfriend like you know he was the closest person to me and i just felt like i don't know like a couple months down the line like he would still be here i guess or if i got my stuff sent there like it would be cool i would get it eventually that's what i thought so um yeah so that was that now a couple months i want to say that one might have been like mm, i don't even know when I don't, I don't even know when but i still have the messages like i have the messages in my phone so like y'all see the times i just remember texting him like you know my package was delivered you know have you seen it no response and i think i like tagged him on like instagram like being on some petty stuff like i was like talking trash or whatever i tagged him um but it was in regards to like getting my package so now he's snappy um he's you know here's some here's the thing about it i don't believe that was him texting me because i mean it very it could be it very well could be but i don't believe it because as long as I knew him, like, he was always that kind of person that's like, you know, I don't talk to females in a certain kind of way. You know, hence when it was his 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 last ex and he just felt like, you know, why why be confrontational? I'm a man that's a woman. I'm not trying to be confrontational. Even with the other girl, when I felt like we mind our business, this person said something to us and he's still not wanting to be confrontational. Like, he was very big on, I'm not going to go there with a woman. I'm not going to call her all day, just that and the third. But I'm going to show y'all the messages. I'm going I'm to show y'all what it said. And, you know, basically was like going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And in that very moment, I don't even remember what he said. Because it wasn't even about what he said. Like, in that very moment, right then and there. You know, and I was like, this is my karma. I am not getting that CD. You might as well chalk it now. That CD, just, just charge it to the game, chalk it to the universe. Because you're not getting it. Like, I'm like... This is literally because, like I said, I don't feel like that was him saying it. He could have been mad with me. Who knows? Either way, I just felt like that was probably, like, the new girl, like, saying that with me, getting hers off of me. Um, or even if it was him, it was just, like, I know when I first started talking to him, I did this to that other girl. Like, all sis wanted was her bag. All sis wanted was to get in the door. Like... And you feel what I'm saying? I was I was in the way of that. Like, I was being on some extra stuff. Fast forward, 
uh, years and changes later, and it was my turn. I'm through with them. Look at me. I'm just want something, bro. I don't even want you. I don't even care. Like, I just want my CD. It was signed. It was a signed CD, y'all. I never saw. I never even saw the damn box. I never even saw the box. But, you know, like, right then and there, I was able to chalk it. Like, I, w I couldn't even be mad. Like, I wanted to be mad. Like, again, if you know me, you know. I wanted to be mad, but I couldn't. Because I'm just like, girl, this is your karma. Yep. Yep. A year or two change later, this is your karma. So, you know... But that that's the end of that story time i don't know like if that was really juicy or not but um yeah make sure you like comment subscribe if you want any more story times just let me know in the description in the description y'all got access to my description let me know in the comments y'all let me know in the comments um yeah or any other content y'all want to see but yeah that concludes this story time so, if you walk away from anything in this video, just walk away from it. Your karma is real, okay? She might not get you right now. She might not get you tomorrow, baby, but she gonna get you. She gonna, she, she gonna get you now. She gonna get you. So, don't be out here doing nothing, people, that you don't want done to you, okay? That's it. That's all. Thank you for tuning into my story time. <laughs>